of bucks it's Rosalind back at you one more again I hope everybody is doing blessed I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time coming to my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family just thank you for loving me as I love you and you know you're spreading your love throughout other people we truly need that right now that is definitely a blessing for us so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video also if you are comfortable enough please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me, even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you good vibes you would love to share with a loved one or friend, please go ahead and do so, you know, especially if they're having trying times and need confirmation or validation towards their life path or even their sole purpose. And while you're to give me a thumbs up like and also share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit and thank you once again for the love and support it is truly appreciated and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today you know i think i couldn't go without my buddha as usual um it's called uh destroy hidden negativity wipe out subconscious negativity boost positive energy i'm gonna see if y'all can see it um I guess it's not gonna allow me to see it but um, yeah my video today is about twin flame 101 twin flames helping you become that better person um, that is truly a blessing for us uh, it, it's just like the more I see and the more I go through it allows me to know oh excuse me that my dad has helped me on so many levels on so many things I didn't even realize that he has opened me up to he helped me become that better person so uh pause for the cause um yeah i'm sorry about that my daughter came in from work getting low so it's just like i was glad i felt so blessed for him helping me on so many levels allowing you know him not to give up on me and i you know i always constantly tell him you know i'm grateful for him being in my life grateful for him allowing me to you know help me guide me towards the true path that, that I truly need to be on allowing myself to see you know who I truly was you know when you can be able to have your twin flame in your life they you know I feel like you know we all have our times where we we deal with our faults we deal with our insecurities um it's like your twin flame shows you things for what they truly are and sometimes it's not always pretty you know my situation has been very hectic to deal with um being able to be blessed to be able to even though i know i'm not on this road by myself i have you i have um, my spirit guides i have my my loved ones that have passed uh cheering me on sending me reassurance and you know being able to heal in ways i really truly didn't think i was able to do um being able to let go of a lot of things that know that it's not going to do me any good for me to hold on to anger for me uh, not being able to have you know I want to be able to love but you can't love people without forgiveness you know there's a lot of times people have hurt you intentionally and people have hurt you unintentionally and it's just like you know it's hard at times because with us being in our human form you know a lot of people have gratitude gravitated towards us they're very narcissistic um push out their insecurities on us um we have to be able to see that that is not personal because it's just like everything they're speaking on to you that is not in a good light or in a negative way is truly saying things about themselves and a lot of people don't realize that you know there's times i've projected out my anger towards people especially if i felt like they were putting me in a corner and did, didn't realize, you know, I'm no better than them if I'm lashing out like they're lashing out. And I was being able to see that, being able to know, like, everything that my family has instilled onto me that tried to break me down in so many different ways, and it has, but it allowed my life to fall apart for me to be able to put it back together for how it truly needed to be. Being able to find that self-love for myself, being able to have that respect for myself, 
I didn't have before. Going through weak-minded decisions, knowing there's a purpose for all those different situations because it allowed me to respect myself more, allowing myself to cut cords from people and things that truly did not serve me in that greater good. Because it's like when we have our twin flame, you know, at times, especially, you know, when you're going through things, I used to always call my dad for comfort, always call him to make me happy, you know, and it's just like, I had to stop doing that because it's just like your twin flame is not there to save you. You have to be able to do all these things on your own, but you're, you know, you keep that constant contact with them, being able to, you know, have that relationship. And it's just at times you probably get emotional when you think about your twin flame because you want to be able to, you know, explain that that feeling that they give you, but it's hard to be able to explain. To me, it's like when I see the love that my dad has for me as well as I have for him, there's times I get very emotional because that is such a beautiful situation where he's helped me become that person that I love and I trust within myself that validate my own self. Um, loving myself on so many different measures even though I'm not a perfect person it allowed me to set those things but the things that I could change about myself I'm being able to work hard for those so it's just like when you're on that level of oneness that connection of love um for them being your rock your supporter um being able to be that support when they're feeling down and reassuring you know even though they need to heal with themselves but they always know that you have their back you know there's a lot of times that you know my dad has came towards my way and you know him being he always was like a superhero to me or a guardian angel towards me and there will be times that i will go through things and i felt like i needed him to help me cope with that or you know and i, I had to stop i had to see for myself and say hey you can't be coping with these things these are things because it feels like if you're coping with them you're learning how to deal with them as they're in your life instead of you know what let me face these things let go and move on and he's allowing me to do that you know he's always told me yeah these people are going to say stuff to you they're going to put disappointments in your head they're going to make promises they won't keep you know but as long as you have faith in yourself and faith in the universe that better things are coming for you that's all that truly matters you know being able to forgive them and walk away you know it took a lot for me to be able to do that with my family I had to make closure with that and it was such a beautiful situation for me that I had to go through knowing that these people have done everything up under the sun to try to get me to kill myself uh, being able to keep me at that low frequency because of their insecurities they wanted me to feel like they did and it was like when I can finally see, you know, they were no longer my monsters in my closet. They were no, no, you know, uh, they didn't have that power to allow me to get in my feelings anymore. I said, I took, I snatched that back so bad, it scared my third generation half to death. The generation even came half to death. Like, girl, what's this? What's this? What are you doing? And it was like, while I'm doing that in between my videos, I was sending the universe, thank you. For allowing me even though my dad is not in that physical you know connection with me he's in that spiritual and i'm grateful that you placed him in my life to help me along this journey it, it, it became a you know not so such a long lonely road even though i have y'all you know when you're dealing with things behind closed doors that you really truly don't open up for and I had to thank the universe for helping me with that, helping me acknowledge those things. Even when times get hard, you know, I just try to stay positive about things in my life because I know that they, they happen for a reason. Being able to let go, you know, and it's just like when I see a situation with me and my ex, you know, I have to be able to pray for him and hope that, you know, he can heal from his insecurities, hoping he doesn't put himself in a situation that he can't be able to change because if he, he, you know, he's sharing his energy with a lot of people, I had to be able to sit up here and say, you know, I pray for him. You know, um, nobody doesn't need to have a road like that, even though he puts himself on a chopping block a lot. You know, I, I just hope and pray that he is better before it gets too late. Because, you know, one night, lifetime of, you know, passion can bring a light, lifetime of pain. And so it's just like when I see, you know, uh, the people in my life, like my, my mom's ex-husband and his wife, I can no longer say that's a part of my family. They were just people that I had to connect with in my past that I disassociate myself from. 
you know, I can't wait until I'm able to, you know, change my name, being able to place that, because it's just like, anytime I think about myself as Rosalind, I don't, I felt like, you know, Rosalind's ready to be put to rest, because all I see is, even though I see her as a strong person, but it's like anything that represented her was like pain and sorrow, um, being able to know I don't acknowledge those things anymore, I feel myself as conquering, you know, I'm a conqueror, I'm a victor, um, being able to see the strength inside myself that it was hard for me to see before, being able to have that confidence within myself that it was hard for me to grasp before, knowing that, you know, this whole situation is an illusion that I had to go through for me to be able to get that, and as soon as I said that, my phone lighted, lit up, so it was just like, <laughs> it just lit up that quick. But you have to be able to go through these things for you to be able to grow in so many different levels you weren't able to grow before. Being able to see yourself on so many different levels you weren't able to see before. Acknowledging yourself, having that self-love, you know, not needing somebody to uh, complete you, knowing that you can complete yourself, you know, not looking for anybody to validate you. You can do that on your own. You know, and a lot of people don't have the courage like we have to go through those different things. Some people don't want to give themselves that chance because that, that's a point on changing. But that's what you have to go through. You know, your twin flame would allow you to see things that are not pretty about yourself that you need to either take away, you need to look into, or you need to have faith in, or you need to, you know, really get in touch with. You know, and I'm, I'm just grateful for me to be able to have those experiences. And, you know, just thinking about, you know, I, I always wanted to tell him, you know, how much he meant to me. And it was just like words couldn't explain the things that he had me feeling in that good way. But he was like, I get it. I understand. You know, I do. You know, I've been trying to tell you this for years, but I couldn't find the words to tell you. So it was just like, because I always used to dwell on missed opportunities. And you can't do that. You know, especially when certain things like that happen. You know, things happen for a reason. They're deeper than what you expect it to be. be. It's deeper than what meets the eye. You have to go through things like that. And knowing it's already written about you doing things. So it's just like a lot of times we worry about the things that we want in our life. Or are we, we going to achieve these things to get to the things that we want in life? It's already written. It's already yours. It's just that you have to be able to manifest these things for yourself. And when it's time for you, it's not like, you know, I always had that thing where people always try to block my blessings from that. And it's like what other people do. I can't keep worrying about stuff like that because it's just like, like I tell people, when you wish bad things on me, bad things tend to happen to you. And I really didn't want that to happen for you. Even when you wish bad things on me, I'm wishing bad on, bad on you because that makes me no better than the person that did it. So it's just like when you wish bad things on folks, it's just like what I told people with me being a spiritual conduit, it messes up your financial situation. It messes up your family home. You tend to get sick. And then you wonder why things hit you left and right. And I've seen it happen so many times that people connected with me and they try to stop me. And then when I try to tell them that, you know, hey, this is the reason why these things are happening to you. So I hope you're not trying to sit up here and wish anything on me because this is what's going to happen. You know, um, having people sab sabotage me, but being okay, like I would get upset before. Like, how dare you do this to me? You want to be happy, but you don't want to see me happy. And that's insecurities because people see that you're going to succeed. You're going to, you know, heal and let go of a lot of things. A lot of people aren't happy for me when I sit up here and made amends with the people of my past, you know, I said, just because I forgave you doesn't mean I'm trying to rekindle anything. When you know that there, you can look at your, your abusers and your accusers for doing things to you and allowing yourself not to hold, give them that key to your happiness, that key to your power, knowing, you know, yeah, you did this to me, but I'm not going to keep dwelling off of that. I'm going to heal. I'm going to do the things that I need to do and keep going. So it's just allow yourself to be able to heal, allow yourself to let go, allow you to move on. You know, you want this reunion with your 
you know, your twin flame. You have to be able to do all these things. And when they feel like the universe is like, okay, they're getting it. They're allowing themselves to not hold that grudge towards people. Because if you really truly want love, you have to go through that initial heartbreak. You have to be able to go and just pray for the people that has placed these things on you. And just move on and just let nature take its course. And when they see that, you know, beautiful blessings come your way. So I hope you are able to resonate. Like and subscribe. Let me know if you are able to really, you know, really feel on top of that video. I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Malachi Smith and Sammy Mackey. And, you know, I hope you have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible in everything you do. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And sound as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. But like I said, drop me a line. Hit the notification bell, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and also share. And I'll see you in my next video. Much love, peace, be well.